Howdy guys, Rex here. Have you been patiently waiting for the awakening of the very scary Kraken monster to come and save you after watching your Quebec Anon videos repeatedly over and over again? If so, and you find it kind of stressful because the thing's very, very slow to wake up and hard to see, and you are concerned about bullets maybe flying at your face, watch this video. You'll find it perhaps a little bit helpful. Howdy guys, Rex here. I was just watching Point Break where the FBI guys like Keanu Reeves and all his buddies were beating the crap out of those uh, surfing bank robber guys. And it reminded me of this item here. So I pulled it out for you guys. This is the RTS Tactical Ballistic Shield. This is their 3A model. It's kind of the contour that they had designed to be similar to like what the federal marshals are fielding, okay? And FBI. And so it's 24 inches here, 36 inches top to bottom. This one does have the gun ports on the side here. So you can, the idea is you can hold it with one hand, you kind of hold it underneath like this. And then your arm is supposed to go through the strap, although I never really use a strap uh, for a variety of different reasons. When you're wrestling, that's not good to have a uh, leverage point to get tweaked. So you can, if you're fighting the guy with the shield, you can tweak that pretty good and uh, hurt the arm and get a lot of leverage on him. Uh, but it does have the gun ports or other designs offered by RTS as well that don't have the ports. That's better coverage, and depending on what kind of pistols you're running, if you're running lasers, you don't need these ports. That's probably the better way to go. Uh, back in the old days, before they had a lot of lasers and stuff like that, guys kind of got used to using maybe a design like this. I'm not sure the history on the shields. But it does have a ballistic port here. It's 3A uh, rated in the front here. You can upgrade to the model with LED lights on the front if you want to. I would recommend doing that if you're actually going to use this on a department or something like that. Uh, you want your light in front and you don't want to be screwing around. A lot of guys can mount like, uh, you know, various tactical lights on here and have a pressure switch on the handle. But that's not near as good as having it mounted on here. But a couple different features I thought were good. It does have that good anti-spalling stuff, right? Um, it's not super heavy. Um, I mean, it is pretty stout. Generally, you don't want these to be over 20, 25 pounds. That's going to kind of... Even if you're a weightlifting guy, like I used to be a weightlifting guy, maybe a guy could do it, but that's not really advantageous when they get too heavy. They get very, very unwieldy pretty quick. This strap here is not something I typically use. Um, you don't want your arm really tied to this if you get into a, a push-in match or if you use the shield kind of as uh, something to brace a bad guy with. If you're doing, there's a lot of different things you can do with shields. You can do extractions, you know, like from a room where you brace the guy, basically tackle him with the shield, and then the other guys, you know, hog time or whatever, <laughs> like they used to do back in the day against those surfing bank robbers. Now it's salon people probably. I don't know what they're doing nowadays. But um, it does have a little bit of standoff with this pad in case you take a round. It's not going to directly break your arms off like it normally would. If you shoot this with a, something high-powered or even a shotgun um, and you got your body up against here or your arm, directly against the shield it's gonna really mess you up i don't think people realize how bad it will mess you up too it'll break your arms so a little bit of standoff it'd be nice to have some standoff on the bottom as well um and the handle here is kind of centrally located you can see how it is here it's nice sometimes to have a little bit wider of a handle that way you can uh, articulate it in different ways you can hold it off to one side and uh, get it around there then you can step around and look um, or there's, you, you might want to switch hands and grab it on the other side. Sometimes you grab it in the middle, but I don't like to tie my, my arm off in there so you can use it in a variety of different ways. Um, it's nice to have, like I said, the standoff towards the bottom. You can have that kind of brace to make sure when this thing gets hit by a high powered round, this will deform quite a bit. A lot of this stuff will come off sometimes, but uh, a, a powerful weapon like a, like a slug or even a 7.62, which might penetrate this. It's going to deform tremendously, even if it doesn't completely penetrate. Still mess you up a bit, so that's good to have. Um, this is a contour. There's a million different contours available, of course. Various shields. The one from RTS is actually pretty light and affordable. It's not stupid heavy. I'll put the specs below here. If your department's looking for something or your outfit or whatever, if you're a SWAT guy or SRT guy, these are something that you might want to kind of shop around on for the, you know, save some money because they can be expensive. I think they're normally 2,800, three grand. 
these right now, I believe, are around a thousand, maybe a little more. And they have different models, and I got a discount code you can use below to check it out as well. Um, if you use it before the first, I believe, and they do help out recipes and all that, so that's cool. But these are nice to have if you need them. Obviously, you're not going to every day carry this into the store to buy spaghetti. Another thing that people don't realize that where these can be a little handy is when you're not using it, you can stow this like behind your seat in your SUV and then pack up your other gear against it to kind of prop it up. That offers you some ballistic protection for your valuable cargo. If you got kids, or if you got a wife that you actually like, um, you can, you know, I usually keep some of my body armor when I'm traveling with it behind the seats to kind of offer ballistic protection when you're not wearing it. So uh, you can also keep this like in the bedroom or wherever you're sleeping. If you need an option for somewhere to go uh, to kind of like barricade yourself or have your wife as part of the SLPs if something happens and you know she can kind of maybe get behind there if there's bad guys or something um, offer her a little something some kind of protection from the direction of where the danger is coming from so yeah I thought I showed you they also got deals right now on their plate carriers again and their body armor setups so if you're looking for a rig um, that's affordable and that also helps out Rex reviews Use the link below, check out RTS. They usually got pretty good deals. And they make pretty nice stuff. So check it out. All right, guys. Rex out.